Welcome to this episode of Learn Everyday English, your roadway to English proficiency. Glad to have you with me today. As you can see, we're in the backyard and we have a special guest today. My wife Rosa is going to talk to you about her uh, garden and plants and everything that she uh, does and grows here. But before we do that, you know, there's three things you can do for me. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and three, tell your friends about it so that they can benefit from these videos too, just like you. All right, well, let's jump into today's episode. Hello, everyone, and welcome to our garden. Like Gary said, my name's Rosa, and uh, a little bit about my garden. I will be talking about herbs today, and I'm interested in herbs because growing up, my mother used to use herbs all the time to treat us as children, right? So we never got to go to the doctor. Um, luckily, we were very healthy, but mom would always treat us any il uh, ailments with, with herbs. And then when I had my own children, I did take them to the doctor, but I also used herbs to cure, to help them if they were not feeling well, all right? And I so, like that t-shirt because it's a t-shirt of plants, cacti. Of course it is. All right, so here we go. Let's go see what I have. So right off the start, I don't like to, and perhaps I should, I don't know, but I don't like to waste my plants and throw plants and pull and throw away. So I have plants growing everywhere. Um, the first one here is uh, epazote, and it's an herb used quite a bit in Mexican cuisine. So I use it when I make beans or I make stews, cut my leaves up, wash them, and put them in my, my soups and beans, all right? Let's see. The next herb I have here is pineapple sage, and uh, it, it just has a lovely smell. I don't really use it for, for much other than its beauty, and um, so that's pineapple sage. And here are some rocks that I like to, to paint and decorate and place around my garden. Over here, I have an elderberry tree uh, or shrub. And so the berries from here are really good and I like to make a syrup out of the berries. This year, because it's been so hot, I was not very I did not get to collect a lot of berries or a lot of, of my other plants that I grow. All right. And this is a wonderful plant. And actually I learned about this plant one time my mother came to visit. She saw it growing on the ground and she said that um, when she was little they used to eat this quite a bit. So I did a little bit of research and this is a super plant. It's a uh, purslane. It's very, very good for you. So if you have it growing in the garden at your home, let's not cut it. Let's wash it up and eat it. It's good for you. Over here, I also have a wonderful plant that everybody grows. It's rosemary. Everyone knows what rosemary is. Um, she's not very happy here. I need to move her, I think. It needs but more sun. It think? needs more sun, yeah. All right. So, back here, I have more purslane and a tomato plant. You see this? Um, cherry, so these cherry tomatoes. cherry tomatoes, because the seeds are so, so plentiful, they tend to grow everywhere in the garden, and I just let them grow. Um, this year, most years, I have a lot of little tomatoes. This year, I have not been able to harvest a lot of little tomatoes. Uh, and this is a beautiful sage plant that I also use for cooking and for making other, other things. Here I have a... Um, what do I have? 
lavender. This is lavender. This lavender? See, yes, this is lavender. And okay. here's some flowers that are a little bit dried up. All right. This is, um, here it doesn't look like much, but this is thyme. And it, my thyme right now is not doing very well. She's not happy anymore. It's an old plant. It's an old time. It's been here a long time. It looks so, like you're running out of time. <laughs> that's right. Thank you for that. So kind what of you. What is this colorful uh, So this is just here. a flowering plant. I forget her name. Is it butterfly bush? Yeah, I think so. Okay. I think it's a butterfly bush, yes. And she too, I have a lot of them growing everywhere because the seeds fly Mm -hmm. They get, they, they're a little, um, they have little wings, if you will, mm -hmm. and so they fly everywhere, so I have them every, everywhere. And I also have, right in here, is a celery plant that okay. I, um, I rooted from a celery that I bought. I rooted her and put her in there, right? That celery you buy at the supermarket? A celery I bought at the supermarket, yes, okay. indeed. Okay, so th this is a chili pod, and I also have a lot of chili pods growing everywhere because I had a lot of seeds and I just uh, put them in the ground, and so I got a lot of little chili plants, so I put them everywhere. So that's a little, ch I'll, I'll find a chili in just a minute. So here, here you see that? Oh, okay. See, and it's got a little chinch bug, mm -hmm. right? Right, see that? Are they little chili hot? very hot. These are very spicy. Yeah. Muy and picante, picoso. Huh? See, si, muy picoso. Here is an avocado plant, also from an avocado that I ate. Oh, and okay. I actually I have a compost, put my seeds and everything in the compost, and avocado plants just grow out of the compost. So I take them out and plant them. And uh, this one's doing doing well. I hope she grows. Okay. Uh, and makes it through the winter because avocados are very, are, are uh, particular. And expensive. And expensive, yes. So here I have, um, this is turmeric mm -hmm. that I'm growing. Turmeric does very well. This is a beautiful uh, peach tree. So okay. now I digress because it's not an herb. Okay. And you got a lot of peaches this year. I got a lot of trees, peaches, right? yes, yes. That was lovely. All right, so here I recently bought these at the uh, Master Gardener's sale, and they need a forever home, right? I need to transplant it. This is a calendula, right? Calendula, the flowers for the calendula, I collect them, dry them, and I make myself some cream because it's very good for your skin, right? And so this is a also a cardamom ginger and I have mint is here mint I love mint it's very good for you and there's a little fox sleeping under the tree yes little beautiful things everywhere this is a sweet potato that I also root it like I'm rooting one here okay. see that and this, that one was ready to be planted. This one, not so much, not yet. Let's see that again. The, uh, the sprouts come out of the top? Yes, uh-huh. Okay. And see that? that? And in then the I ground. plant that. Mm -hmm. so, and so this is what this is. Listeners, you can grow your own uh, sweet potato from the sweet potato from the grocery store. That's right. Okay. And uh, let's see, here, and look, here I have some more little chili plants. Okay. See that? Those are hot too? Or? These are spicy, yes. Uh huh. So this, I've had this all summer, but because it was so hot, it had not flowered. And now that it's cooled mm -hmm. down, oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. uh, now that it uh, cooled down, I have all these little, so it's kind of a surprise because I didn't expect it to be yellow little peppers. I thought they would be red mm -hmm. little peppers, so there. And there's some more peppers in the back. And there's some more Let's peppers see. in the back. Those are banana peppers, right? And uh, here is some, um, hmm, it left this, me. See? 
No, yes, these are asparagus, but they don't grow well. Mm -hmm. They just, they don't do very well. They need more sun. Um, I forgot the name of that one, which is also a beautiful, beautiful plant. Here is some, um, and come, come look at the seeds. See that, this is, uh, ch these are chives and they flower and they seed. So chives tend to grow very well and grow everywhere. So this is not the only place I have ch chives. I have chives in several places. And this is our greenhouse that I love dearly. Very nice. We had this put in a little while back. Um, and you will be able to see that I'm rooting some plants here. Right? So this what do is you just mean by a rooting plants. Uh, well, uh, see the roots right in here? Mm -hmm. And I need to throw this water because there's some larva. But so I put it in water and they start to root and then I plant them in soil and then mm -hmm. they flower in the spring. I have little cacti, more cacti. I love cacti. Here, uh, this is one of those cherry tomato plants that grew here all by itself. And this is where I, I put the seeds and, and sprout them. So these are chili plants. Like I said, I had put some chili seeds and they just grew everywhere. Here is a mm -hmm. pineapple. Okay. Gary bought me a pineapple, so I took the top and I'm, I'm trying to root it. Uh, here's an onion also that I cut and I'm trying to root it. And it'll do well. More chili pods and cacti. And yeah, that's what I have in here now. Soon, okay. once it gets colder in winter, this will be full of beautiful plants. Trying to protect them from the cold. Yeah. Uh, here you ha I have an aloe vera plant. And aloe vera is very, also very good for you. Uh, and like I said, the cherry tomatoes, they tend to grow wherever they see fit. Mm -hmm. Right? Right. Well, notice uh, these rocks seem like you're very crafty too, which means you yes. uh, like to do artwork. Right. So yes. Yes. It makes a nice touch in the garden. Right. And my, uh, our grandchildren like to come and explore, and that's something that they always look look at. And here, now that you brought me my attention to, here I had. Um, another plant that's very good my words are leaving me um, echinacea right yeah this is echinacea but again because it's fall it's it's not doing very well it does beautifully in the spring okay let's go this direction So this is also a beautiful tree, but it's uh, moringa, and so in the in the fall I cut cut it. I, I've already cut some down, drier up, and all all year we eat moringa. It's it's very very good for you. It's also a superfood, very beneficial. Were these chili peppers or just for... These are, these are chili peppers, but basically these are just decorative chili peppers. I really don't, don't make anything with them. So they're mainly for decoration. You, mainly you can't for, eat them. Right. This is ginger. Okay. okay. So I'll get a nice bunch of ginger later on in the it winter. It grows under, in the ground, right? It goes, well, it's in the pot, but mm -hmm. yes, it yeah, grows in the, in the ground. There. Mm hmm yeah, yeah. All right, so more, this, this, oh, oh this is my lovely plant. This is, um, is estafiate. estafiate. I grew up with estafiate because it helps with uh, any ailments that you might have with your stomach, mm -hmm. let's say that you have a runny stomach, uh, this diarrhea, will... Maybe? Diarrhea, yes, I didn't want to say diarrhea, yeah. but I'll say diarrhea. So this is a powerful plant that cures any kind of diarrhea. 
So, yes, I love this plant. Um, more, more chili pods and more um, turmeric. This is turmeric, right? And these are black, this is a blackberry vine. And I always get beautiful blackberries from her. Okay. Let's see. Now you have some Oja Santa back there. I, but it's yeah, yeah, stuck. yes, yeah. I have Oja Santa, but I, but she, she's already, her time span is, up, is yeah. up. And so I cut her down. She looked terrible. Okay. So... So uh, the last herb that I'm going to talk about is holy basil. And holy basil smells divine. And it's wonderful that's why it's to called cook. Holy. Yeah, that's why it's divine. called holy. So when there's a breeze, I can smell it throughout the back, the back in, in the backyard. It's really good. And right here, it's flowering right now. And so I'll keep the flowers and it's time for me to cut her down and dry the herbs for me to use throughout the throughout the winter, right? But when I cut the herbs, what I wanted to share with you too, when I use my herbs and I cut my herbs, I don't just cut them. Um, I always say thank you to the herb for giving me the nutrients that they give me, the joy growing them, smelling them, the aroma they give, give me. And um, so, it's a sign of respect and gratefulness for the things that the abundance of things that we do have. And, and that is holy basil different from regular basil? Uh, yes, it is. It's yes, yeah, because because some, they they taste different. It tastes different and it smells different. You have some regular yes, I basil. Yes, I have some regular basil right here. So here there's more of the holy basil, oh, okay. right? But this is the regular, your regular uh, basil that you usually typically find when you're making pasta or spaghetti or Italian food, right? But I use this and this with uh, my Italian food when I make Italian mm. food, right? Okay. Pasta. Uh, oh, here. Okay. Oh, look, 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 look. Um, this is um, stevia. And so if you put a little leaf of stevia in your mouth, it's really sweet, sweet. And um, it's beautiful. It's wonderful, right? Like a sugar substitute. It's a sugar. Yes, this is your natural sugar, mm -hmm. natural sugar. But you have to be careful because if you use too much, then it has a bitter, bitter taste. And here I have some more chili pods. See, growing here, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, some big. See, some big chili, yeah. chiles. Mm-hmm. Um, here I have some um, oregano, some lovely oregano, and some more chives. See that? Look at that, all the flowers. I thought I had cut these down because I don't want them growing everywhere. But here's some more flower seeds. And my beautiful peach tree where I got a lot of peaches this year. Made me some peach jam. Turned out pretty good. And I believe that's it. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, and I appreciate your time. Thanks. Bye. Well, I, uh, I want to thank my wife, Rosa, very much for that uh, good detailed uh, tour and explanation of the herbs that she grows. I know it's a passion of hers. And uh, she's out here a lot tending to the plants. And it's always a lot to do to uh, keep them growing. They wouldn't look as nice as they are. So I hope you learned something today about herbs. It's spelled H-E-R-B or H-E-R-B-S, but the H is uh, silent. It's not herbs or herb, but it's herbs. So let me know what you thought of the video. Uh, leave me a comment below in the description. Kid, remember there are three things that you can do for me. Like, subscribe, and tell your friends. And we'll keep bringing you this content like this. All right, well, have a good day, listeners, wherever you are in this world, and we'll check you later on Learn Everyday English. Hey, talk to you later. Goodbye.